Y'all are always commenting she's actually AI. So today, I am. I made a deep fake of myself so you don't have to. Everyone thinks I'm AI anyways, so why not? Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make a deep fake of yourself on the Sora app, and we're going to talk about what to look out for so you can detect Sora deep fakes in your social media feed. If you are a chronically online person, you may have noticed an uptick in the amount of deep fake videos that are coming across your TikTok and Instagram reel and YouTube short feeds. There will be an <laughs> internet meme where people say six, seven. Things like Bob Ross painting on someone's face, Jake Paul being gay, and <laughs> these videos are being generated by OpenAI's new app, Sora. Sora is a new AI model that is really good at generating likeness. So it can recreate basically videos of anyone, but it has this feature called Cameo, which allows you to upload your likeness to the platform and give anyone permission to use it, which is what Jake Paul did and is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make a deep fake of yourself on Sora, and I'm gonna allow you guys to do whatever you want with it. Once I do this, people can make me do or say whatever they want, but we're all aware that that's possible now, right? So go ahead, ruin my reputation. I dare you. This is also the first mainstream app where all of the content is AI generated. And honestly, I have been approached to work with a lot of apps with this same structure. And I've said no because I've thought, who wants to sit there and scroll through AI generated content? I started using Sora. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying scrolling through this AI generated content. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Every single video is AI generated. People are being hilarious. Sam Altman has allowed people to use his likeness. In the Sora app, you can type in a very general prompt and the video that it gives you will lean funny automatically, which is wild. Sam Altman at OpenAI has taken this AI technology, which is revolutionary and has gamified it. So now, Deep fakes are nothing more than a fun game to use on social media. 10 likes on my last video, so I'm shaving my head. Let's get this stream to 100 likes for a real treat. This feels wild, you guys. And boom, buzz. It's really strange that this was the first big push rather than integrating the technology into more editing software. I would think that the first step of innovation would go in that direction, but we are in the world of social media. Media is monetized from your bedroom at home. Anyone with two thumbs and an iPhone can get famous online and make money from it. And now anyone with two thumbs and an iPhone can create a deep fake of me and Bob Ross singing and dancing the can-can. Let's try to make that. It's someone who kind of looks like Bob Ross. <laughs> Step one, make sure you look amazing because you're about to put yourself on the internet and let people generate whatever videos they want of you so you better look good. Step one, complete. The Sora app will open up to the home feed. It doesn't allow screen recording, so it's black here. Go to your profile page, go to settings, cameo access, and there will be a button that says create cameo. It says retake, because I already made one. The outfit and the environment that you're in will be the default for your cameo, so just make sure whatever's in it you're good with sharing on the internet. You could always make a new cameo, but you can't save old cameo looks. Start recording and it's gonna ask you to say some numbers and move your head to the left and right and that's it. It'll process for about one minute and then you can make a cameo with yourself. Okay, great, you're all done. It's actually insane how little data this AI model needs. Okay, let's generate a deep fake of me. Go to this little plus sign down here tag yourself. I'm Mad Sal sitting at home. She says, I made a deep fake of myself 
so you don't have to. You all think I'm AI anyways, so now I am. There we go. Now we'll just give it a couple minutes and see what this AI girl looks like. That took three minutes. Let's watch it. I made a deep fake of myself so you don't have to. Everyone thinks I'm AI anyways. And now I am. <laughs> when I tell you, it really looks like me. I don't think that my parents would be able to tell. I don't think you can tell. These deep fakes made in Sora are significantly better than the deep fakes we have been seeing online in the past year. We used to be on the lookout for strange hands extra fingers, warped hand movements, stuff like that. Sora gets it right now. Now you need to look out for grainy noise in videos, texture that dances around, things that should be still will have like slight subtle movement, skin texture will look too smooth, eyes can still look a bit glazed over. It is not the most straightforward thing to detect, but if you pay attention to a handful of things, you will be able to figure it out. Let me generate a few more videos and I will point out some telltale signs that this is an AI video that you can look for when you are on your social media feed. So all of these creators that we see under cameos have given their permission for anybody to use their likeness to create an AI video of them. Or you could not give any permission and only create videos of yourself or just create videos without it. Mad Sal, Sam Altman, and Jake Paul are dressed as the three blind mice at a Halloween party. Best group, group costume, costume ever. ever. Yeah, but I keep bumping into people with this cane. That's the point, we gotta stay in character. Should we take a picture by the pumpkin wall after this? Absolutely, Absolutely. Maybe, maybe grab, grab more, more cheese, cheese first. first. Okay, obviously stuff like the mouth not moving when somebody should be speaking. Even though there are big misses in these videos, this is wildly realistic. It's scaring me. Honestly, the biggest tell is that on all of these Sora videos, there is some like fuzzy motion over each video, which you notice in small patches. This slight movement almost looks like there is a film grain placed on top of the footage that we're looking at. A film grain is kind of like a video of a texture that you would place on top of higher definition footage to make it look older. You can kind of tell if you place it on top of a solid color, you can see the pattern that it has, and then you can kind of recognize that on my footage, right? All of these Sora videos have a similar look to something like that. It isn't a filter that was placed on top of the footage. The way that these AI models process pixels is not 100% accurate yet. I bet in a month or two, it'll be gone. But for now, that is something you can look out for. Your move? Yep, got something big. Oh no. Boom, Q-U-I-Z-Z-E-D. Triple word score, double letter on the Z, that is 96 points. 96, are you serious? Maybe if I was looking at this squinting with one eye closed, I would not notice that the Scrabble board is totally whack and that all of our letters are facing outwards, which you would not do in Scrabble. That aside, obviously you can look at the letters and they're incorrect. They're warped. The squares of the Scrabble tiles are not uniform. It has tiles like Dear Letter and Ripple Letter and Sambal Word. <laughs> I also wrote a word that makes no sense. All of that is to say the Scrabble board is whack because a Scrabble board has a lot of intricate details. Intricate details like a Scrabble board is going to confuse an AI. Let's move on. So soft launching a boyfriend is basically teasing your followers. You post little glimpses like his hand or two coffee cups, but never his face yet. You reveal the existence of a suitor while withholding his identity? Exactly. <laughs> Okay, that is the best one I've ever made. I love that I'm soft launching Abe Lincoln. That is my new man. Another reason why Sora is so much cooler than a lot of AI models is because it has now learned to be funny. And these videos that are being generated off of a one sentence prompt will actually make you laugh in a non cornball way. This one's the same as the rest. You're just looking at that dancing texture, 
My hand, as I move my cell phone, there was a ring on one finger, it kind of disappears. Obviously the angle of the photograph that I'm taking is not correct. The wrinkles on his face, the lines of his hair, everything is kind of dancing around within each scene. So it does a pretty good job of recreating an Instagram feed, but there's a lot of inaccuracies here. It says FOS instead of posts. It created an Instagram handle for me with a picture of me. Nothing is perfectly in line because of the warping of the pixels. That is something that only an AI would make, right? So if you are trying to decipher if something is CGI versus AI, a CGI artist is not going to go out of their way to put a fork this small in somebody's hand. It would at least be a little more proportional, even if it had human error and they accidentally made it too small. It would never be this tiny. Let's see what else it made. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Look what just showed up at my door. I have no idea who sent them. The card just says, for you. Is this a secret admirer? Because if it is, it is working. I made this video because I wanted some ring camera footage. The reason why we're seeing a lot of AI generated videos on ring cameras and security cameras and with night vision is because we already expect footage that comes from security cameras to be low quality. It is easier to trick people into thinking an AI generated video is real by using something like security footage to mask the low quality and the AI warping. So same thing in this video, you can see all of like the dancing of the textures, especially when we are outside, you can see the plants are kind of like bouncing around the fine lines in the roses, they move. They are not staying consistent. Anywhere that there should be fine lines in a video, it moves around. But my God, this is very advanced. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on this. And if you are a Sora user who's planning to deep fake me, I can't wait to see what I do. Leave me a comment on which of my AI generated Sora videos you thought was the funniest. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video, please.